Welcome to the Anime and Manga News for the week ending December 25th, 21st, 1st, 2019. It's nearly the end of the year, so things are a little bit wonky, and things will be a little bit wonky for this time as well, but that's okay. Starting with news from Kyoto Animation. Uh, the president has announced that Kyoto Animation will be closing the account that they opened for donations, and that closing will happen December 27th. This is an account that they uh, created so that folks could donate after the tragic fire uh, at Kyoto Animation uh, earlier this year. The, uh, it has already reached 2.9 million yen, I'm sorry, 2.9 billion yen. It's about $26.8 million dollars. Uh, in funds, and um, uh, Hideaki Hata, the CEO of Kyoto Animation, has confirmed that the vast majority of the donations came in the form of small donations from fans. So basically he's saying that uh, it, it's time to, to turn that off, end that, take in the last of their donations, and then move on. So best of luck to everyone at Kyoto Animation as they recover, continue to recover, from that tragedy. Um, moving on to happier news. The newest Pokemon anime film is coming. Uh, Toho uh, revealed earlier this week that they will be launching a, a new Pokemon film, and by new I mean actually new. This will have a new story, but although it's going to be about Mewtwo, as you can tell, it will be called Mewtwo Strikes Back Evolution, and uh, it is planned to open in Japan on July 10th. This will be the first all-new Pokemon anime film in two years, um, uh, since the most recent films were Detective Pikachu, live action, and the um, U2 Strikes Back Evolution 3D CG film. So, see where that goes, but congratulations, Pokemon fan, on new Pokemon. Gosh, they're still making Pokemon. Imagine that. Um, interesting news from uh, multiple different places here. The... Uh, Magia Record, Puella Magi Minoka Magica Side Story TV anime series that is coming up in January is going to be streamed on Funimation, Crunchyroll, and High Dive. Huh. Uh, Funimation will begin streaming on January 4th in the US, Canada, UK, Australia, and New Zealand. Crunchyroll will start January 11th. So one week later, with new episodes premiering a few days after they air in Japan. So presumably, Funimation gets it before Japan uh, airs it, and then it airs in Japan, and then Crunchyroll gets it after that, and High Dive will be in streaming the same time as Crunchyroll. So it looks like they've all managed some deal to, uh, to air this Puella Magi, uh, Maroka Magica side story anime um, at different points. So that is pretty cool. Uh, Funimation and Anaplex have uh, promotional videos for the series up. Um, and so uh, that's going to be interesting. It'll premiere uh, January 4th um, at midnight, effectively January 5th at you know midnight, uh, beginning of the day. Um, and then it'll air again later on MBS. So more Madoka Magica coming, although again, technically a side story. But uh, yeah, kind of interesting that we're getting that cross-reference between, or cross-work between all of those uh, studios. And speaking, or all those streaming services, speaking of, uh, Crunchyroll and Viz have announced that they're going to be working together, and a bunch of Viz Media's titles uh, will be uh, available streaming on Crunchyroll. 18 different titles, uh, including Excel World, Death Note, um, several Naruto movies, um, Vampire Night, Sailor Moon R the movie, the first season of One Punch Man, um, Hikaru no Go, and Inuyasha, and four Inuyasha movies. Um, although, th those latter few will come... Um, uh, actually, no, they're, they're already there. So, um, that's kind of interesting. Uh, most of them are United States and Canada only, um, but uh, One Punch Man, for example, will be available in Latin America, and that's always because of just different, you know, licensing in different countries. There are other um, licensing deals, undoubtedly, in other, uh, other parts of the world. So... There is some um, cohesion going on, some folks moving around in different places. Um, everyone's in love, it seems. Speaking of love, um, uh, the second season of Kaguya-sama Love is War has been slated for April of 2020. 
So, not this coming up season, but the ne Whoa, what the hell? One second. Hold on. Wait a minute. That's not right. That's not right at all. There we go. What the... What's... What... That's weird. Why are we getting a different... Why is the... That's not right. What... 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 No. No. That's not what I wanted. Stand by. There we go. Technical difficulties. It happens. Anyway, um, and that's the wrong <laughs> image. Wow, okay. Um, let's fix that. Hold on, hold on. We'll get there, we'll get there. This is not enough to destroy everything. Although it's close. All right. Getting back to the news. Second season of Kaguya-sama Love is War is coming in April 2020. And for all that, that's the entire news story. It's just that we get the second season coming, not this season, but the next season. So... Anyway, let's move along to hopefully something that worked a little bit better. Um, Tokyo, uh, Tokyo's uh, Anime Award Festival is coming up, and the official website has announced the Meritorious Service Award honorees. And um, uh, we have the recipients now. Shoji Sato, producer on Conan Boy in the Future, or Future Boy Conan, Miyazaki's uh, big TV series. Junzo Nakajima, producer of Heidi Girl of the Alps. Uh, Takeshi Shudo, scriptwriter for Pokemon Mewtwo Returns and others. Uh, Kazuko Nakamura, animator on The White Snake, Legend of the White Serpent. Um, Hisao Shirai, director of photography on My Neighbor Totoro and others. Um, Akiko Koyama, color designer on Little Women. Michio Mamiya, composer on Gauche the Cellist. Masako Ikeda, voice actress who is Maitel in Galaxy Express 3.9, among others, and Seiki Inc., who produced, uh, provided photography and filming equipment for the anime industry. Um, the awards festival will be held uh, March 13th to March 16th of next year in Ikebukuro in Tokyo. And there will be an exhibition of the works of the 10 recipients. So, very cool. See if this works. Hey! Um, also news, uh, we have a... New OVA in the Katana Maidens universe. You may have remembered this from um, earlier. This came out, what was that? Um, earlier, uh, January 2018 was when the first Katana Maidens came out. It's about a young woman who wears school uniforms and uh, wields swords. So basically schoolgirls wielding katanas is the basic idea. Um, seemed a very odd premise, 24 episode TV anime series. Uh, it's actually based on a smartphone game. So uh, that makes a lot more sense that you're playing these, you know, got a bunch of girls, they've all got smart, uh, uh, cell phones, uh, not cell phones, katanas, swords, and they're slashing at things with those swords. Um, so new OVA coming in that, that's pretty cool. Um, always fun to get more uh, anime, and of course that's one of those things that I think will, will fit uh, that a little better. You know, I think OVA is a little easier to, to, to handle for an odd premise, premise like that compared to TV anime series. So... We'll see where that goes. Anyway, that's the news for this week. I uh, hope that has been helpful for you. Um, we'll be back next week with more news. Thank you all very much. See you then.